hello guys welcome back to the quantity surveying workshop and in today's video we are going to be going through the taking off list for carrying out work for substructure it was stated in our previous video that a building is divided into two parts namely the superstructural part and the substructural part the substructural parts consist of parts from the floor level down to the foundation and we'll be looking at the works we need to carry out to ensure that our foundation is constructed successfully. In the taking off list for our substructure, it is important to know that it is divided into three aspects, namely excavation and filling, in situ concrete work and masonry block work. The first item in this aspect of the taking off list would be the removal of trees as you all know when you get a land or you buy a land 80 percent 90 percent of the time there's always vegetation and trees so we have to cut down trees that are unwanted on the site and it is measured in number when we're measuring we measure this tree according to their size or guts site clearance and it is measured in meters square that is the length and breadth of the site we need to clear the site of all its vegetation that will be the second item we will be booking in excavation and filling third item will be site preparation to prepare the site means to remove the sites of its top soil and it is measured in meter square fourth item in excavation and filling would be foundation trench excavation and it is measured in meters cube the items we need to book in foundation trench excavation would be the gate of the building the width of the trench and the height of the trench number five extra over excavation the extra over excavation means removing materials such as rock that could obstruct construction of the foundation number six would be earthwork supports and it is measured in meter square. There are some times when you excavate your trench for casting your foundation footing. Now, sometimes the soil that you dig out from the ground begins to pour back into the hole. So now what do we do to prevent that soil from pouring back? That is what we call earthwork support. The next on the list, you either choose between one or the other right and it is disposal of excavated material or retaining of excavated material when we book disposal of excavated material it means soils that we've dug from the ground we don't need them anymore so we dispose them but in some construction purposes in order to reduce costs when we want to backfill instead of buying sand from um, suppliers to reduce cost we use those excavated soil to backfill and that is what we call retaining of excavated material but when we begin to take off in our subsequent video i'm going to show you how we book for both so i'm just going to put them as seven and eight seven will be disposal of excavated materials And eight will be retaining of excavated materials. Number nine will be filling obtained from excavation. Now, you see that the list, it seems as if they are linking up. We have Earthwork supports, then 
retaining of excavated material or disposing of excavated material so now if you're retaining the excavated material you know after we've um we've casted our foundation footing and we begin to lay our block work to um the floor level we you know we will backfill right we will backfill sand to mark to make up level and that is what we're going to be booking at this point in time next on the list will be imported filling now after we finish back filling to make up level with our um excavated topsoil what we do next we begin to pile up hardcore to give more sustainability and strength to the foundation those are the items for excavation and filling next would be in situ concrete work in situ concrete work has to do with concrete casting concrete and you know that in foundation we cast concrete at the foundation footing and the floor level so that is what we're going to be booking here all the works we need to do to ensure that the concrete is perfectly cast first would be mass concrete mass concrete in trench that is the concrete inside the foundation trench to create the foundation footing and it is measured in meter cube second in institute concrete work would be mass concrete in bed and this is the concrete we'll be pouring to create the floor. Number three will be troweling topsoil surface. Next on the list is power floating. And last on institute concrete work would be form work. Next and last would be masonry block work. In masonry block work, there are only two items to be booked, and they are 2 to 5 mm or 150 mm block work, depending on the size they are using. 150 mm block work in foundation. And two would be damp proof course. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you found the video very informative. Please, I plead with you to like, share, and subscribe to this channel for more informative content. In our next video, we're going to be taking off proper. So I would love to see you in the next video.